there was a young kid who came into Brooklyn a couple months after I got there. He was like my age, kind of looked like similar to me. So everybody was joking. Oh, like Billy, you got a brother here. Like your brother's finally in jail with you. You got a friend. Yeah. And so he's all scared. So the first day he pays off one of the big gangs for protection. So the guy switches his cell to be cellmates with him. And he's right next door to my cell. And like, so he just paid this guy or he paid his gang. And the guy's like, okay, so come with me. And that night you just hear the guy getting raped. He goes, oh, please like stop it. You were right next to him. Different yeah, cell, closed door, you could hear it. And like, I saw him, it's like, dude, stop. If you call the cops and tell them, like, they're going to fucking kill you. Like, there's nothing you can do. Jesus. So it gets worse. So the next morning, the kid doesn't want to tell on the guy, right? So he basically goes and tells the cop, I need a new cell. So they move his cell, but the word's getting around that he got raped. So now the gang pressures the guy that raped him. He's like, is that guy lying? He's like, yeah, he's lying. I didn't rape him. So the next morning when the door is open, all you hear is these cries like, help me, help me. He took a razor blade and went and like slashed the kid up and you never saw him again.